I'm Adam from Young Screenwriters. Today, let's talk about the fantastic film Arrival and how it lays the groundwork of its protagonist's emotional journey of motherhood and loss on page one. Light spoilers ahead, but let's get into it. We open with great economical imagery, exterior lake house sunset. The sky is a shimmering expanse of stars packed together with Luis's important line, Memory is a strange thing. This is not an arbitrary line to start out your story with, and it's always important to consider what is the first line the protagonist says in your story. If that first line isn't connected to who the protagonist is in an important way, that's typically a missed opportunity. And as we move inside of the house, a modern home built on the shore with a large deck, the skin of the lake is a cloudy mirror, great imagery that isn't overly descriptive. We meet Luis Banks, who stares up at the sky, leaning against the deck's railing. Now, the writer doesn't make the mistake of over-describing her. He just gives us quick description, timeless, kind of woman who ages gracefully, short hair. It doesn't work like I thought it did. We are so bound by time, by its order. Later in the film, we learn that this first sequence of images of Louise, of her child, of her losing her child, are in fact out of order. And while the audience has yet to put that together, the writer is in fact telling us what we're about to experience. She steps back inside, a little tipsy, smiling. So halfway through page one, we get a sense of contrast between the voice of this woman and the images we're seeing of her. We see her by her house, looking up at the stars, smiling with a glass of wine, yet she's talking about time and memories. And as we move further to the house, we get a sense of who she is by what she has. Stacks of books, a telescope, dry erase boards marked with foreign languages. These objects aren't arbitrary set dressing. It shows us about who she is and what her interests are in a way that's more engaged and grounded than if we just sort of had sort of a clumsy job description. Maybe there's a higher order. And then we actually hear Luis the Luis we're seeing in scene, darling, is there any more wine? We get a sense that she's in a relationship. And then the two most important lines on this page, she sees a question written on the glass lit from outdoors. Do you want to make a baby? Contrasted with, I used to think this was the beginning of your story. Now, what this opening page does, we get a sense of who Louise is, what her profession is. More importantly, we are getting the essence, the threads of her thematic story. We get the sense that time is out of order, that memory is a strange thing, that she is at this point in a relationship and going to have a baby. In a way, the core of the whole story is teased out here. She will be grappling with the loss of that child and the fragmentation of her memories. Because this story is specifically about subjectivity and it's about memory, having Luis communicate to us, using the voiceover to show that subjectivity, the dissonance between the images we see with the voice of her in another time, it perfectly encapsulates the tension point that drives this story forward. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. We have two free courses, Writing the Short, Writing the Scene, taught by NYU professor John Warren, that cover all the essentials of the elements of story and everything you need to know to write a great scene. Thanks so much and have a great day.